that was some serious business. But what I'm gonna do is it's at this point, so I'm gonna cut ahead to that just after that all that cutscene stuff finished. So I, yep. <clears throat> I'll just kinda uh, what I'll do is I'll cut ahead to the cutscene stuff and then uh yeah, so be right back guys. Hello, I'm back. Here we are. I quick saved before hopping into this elevator and I'm gonna do it again when I get to the store. Because we're not nobody's dying. Not today. I should probably um do some Lyra upgrading here. No, really? No light armor at all that you can wear? None in the least? You gotta be shizzing me, man. At least you have a good gun. But that's about all. Okay, we're gonna Quick, save. Oh, crap. I always do that. Shut up, Bishop! Why are you trying to attack my Caden? I know we had a falling out in Neverwinter Nights. I'm sorry it had to come to that. But that's just how it goes. Look, I'm sorry. But I know, it's pretty bad, guys. I know your shields are probably down, and I know... Um... Shutting him down. Oh, no! No, you son of a bitches! I hate you! This is- I'm not doing good. This is epic battle with all this beautiful touching Ashley dying and breaking my heart having to choose between them because I thought it was going to be team humans forever. <laughs> and it's not. I will destroy you. Shut up, Bishop. I will destroy you. Like I said, I know we had a falling out, but Finally, some action. There they are, guys. Get your shields. You're gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. Now it's fine. And then we can Yeah. All right. Just have to. Uh oh, the juggernaut! He's the juggernaut. We have to be careful, guys. I need that badly. No, aim down. Boom. Yes, one down. No. You guys! Your shields! Charging up. I'm sorry. I have to go. I can't be by you guys. Stop following me. Oh good. Good. Commander, set that nuke and get out! We can't hold them! Damn it! Okay then! Suppressing fire! Cover your flank! Cover your <gasps> Ashley! No, shoot him with the shotgun. Shotgun. I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You're going down. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Oh, yes, they can. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? No. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. 
We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. No. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Huh? The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Huh? Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. Hmm. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. No way. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. No way. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Hostile spotted. You're not killing me, Saren, you douche. This video is going to be long because I really need to get this battle in here. It's important. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I'll cut it into parts. Is that bastard? Up on his high horse, I see. I need to get up close. If I'm not up close, I can't defeat him. You ass! Getting away. There's no time for this. We gotta help Caden. Let's go. Hells to the I didn't know I could lift his ass. Alright everybody, hang on! Guess I have more strength than I thought. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. Oh. How could we just leave her down there? Yeah, but how could we just leave you down there? I'm not gonna leave you. Was you were her, then I can't lose you. There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. But why me? Why not her? Dude, I'm not gonna leave you behind your Caden. 
I'm sorry, Caton. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know. And I am grateful. But Ash died because of me. Because of us. Don't remind me, man. It's heartbreaking. Seriously, don't don't make me feel guilty. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, so. excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Please help me, Freckles. You're my only hope. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! Oh wow. Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! What? That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. We don't have any... We gotta go. That's where we gotta go. We don't have a choice in the matter. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh... I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. But... Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Uh, yeah. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Oh, it's accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. 
However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. But... Good luck, Commander. From all of us. But what if I what if I need a lot more help than just that, huh? Did you ever think of that? What if I need a whole fleet and army of ships? And you're not gonna help me? I have to do it by myself? You guys are jerks. Big fat big fat fatty jerks. That's what you are. Jeez. Oh my god, council, you suck ass. Your ass hats. Ah Why you gotta dump all that crap on me now, and Ashley? I'm gonna go down there and talk to my party in the next video and Ashley's not even gonna be there no. This was an eventful update, though, you guys. Seriously eventful. But anyways, next time, we'll have more Mass Effects. And we'll talk to our party and see what they have to say about Ashley. Oh my god. Okay. But serious, all, all things aside, that just... <laughs> I hate this. It sucks, man. Losing a member of my party. Hmm. But, yeah, this is like when Shelly Hawk's mom died all over again, that's what this is. Why do you do this to me, games? I know I'm rambling and this video is already like, holy crap, 38, 39 minutes, I don't even know. But thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.